Hi everyone, this is Alex Tardy again with a briefing about a weather pattern change. Much cooler temperatures, precipitation, and wind. But we're not just talking Santa Ana wind here. Thanks for tuning in. A few key points off the bat. All-time highs were recorded in February. Pretty remarkable how hot it got. Uh, much cooler weather, precipitation, rain and snow and high winds in the mountains and deserts are expected, especially on Tuesday. Dry weather Wednesday through Saturday with offshore Santa Ana winds. Next chance precipitation is Sunday and Monday. Let's first take a look at the all-time high temperatures. At San Diego, we hit 91 on February 12th. That exceeds any temperature recorded in February. Records go back into the 1800s. Chula Vista, 93 degrees. That also was an all-time record for February. And even Newport Beach and Huntington Beach both hit 90 degrees on February 10th. All-time high temperatures. It's been really dry since 2022 began. In fact, most areas of California and Nevada, no precipitation at all as shown in this map. The snow water equivalent has dropped from about 130% of average down to 75% of average, so considerably below average snowpack now. If you look at precipitation for the water year, which started October 1st, we now see most of California in the orange shaded below average. Still some remnants of the larger atmospheric rivers such as late October and in December in central California. A flat line on the precipitation for the Sierra Nevada and overall temperatures in the West this winter above average, as shown on the right-hand side. The dry weather and the numerous Santa Ana wind events has taken its toll on the fuel moisture for fire weather conditions and fire weather has been quite elevated. We do have a green up or live fuel moistures thanks to the rain in December and the recent warm weather and the normal cycle in late winter. However, the dead fuel moisture is now at critically low record low levels as shown here. What's been going on with the weather pattern? Well, back in December, we had storms coming directly from the north over an unusual blockage in the Pacific, upper level high pressure, not at the surface, jet stream level. Now, since January 2022, start of this new year, that block shifted over the Pacific Northwest and Northern California, allowing for numerous Santa Ana wind events, numerous Santa Ana wind events, and very dry or almost no precipitation in California. The jet stream is expected to change. We're gonna see a weather system go over the top of this block and carve into Southern California, so favorable for precipitation in Southern California as shown here. It's not a strong storm, but it will pack a punch in terms of wind and some precipitation and much cooler temperatures, breaking this extreme heat wave. What are we talking about changes in temperatures? Well, for inland areas, mountains, valleys, 15 to 25 degree drop. Already seeing a drop on the coast with a better sea breeze and the loss of the offshore flows and a wind. Much cooler conditions Tuesday. In fact, high temperature is not expected to get above 40 at Big Bear City, not expected to get above 62 at Riverside and even 65 Palm Springs and only 60 at San Diego. Precipitation is expected on Tuesday and the outlook for the entire week across the West shows a lot of the West will see light amounts of precipitation. Precipitation over Southern California locally moderate in some of the mountain areas on Tuesday. Here's a look at Tuesday's forecast for precipitation. You can see the heavier showers and also snow above 5,000 feet in our mountain ranges from Big Bear down to Palomar, Mount Laguna, Julian. Along the coast, mostly light rain, but still rain and precipitation very beneficial considering how dry it's been. Uh, the snow in the mountains will cause some travel impacts, hasn't snowed since the new year began. Uh, and we will see a couple quick inches of snow accumulating over the mountain passes. That's above 5,000 feet. 
The wind will be the more significant impact for our desert slopes, the desert passes, so Interstate 10 and 8, and for residents that live in the Borrego Springs area and also down along the Interstate 8 corridor. So high winds in those areas, including some gusty strong winds in the high deserts and over the open waters. What's going to cause the wind? Well, low pressure will form over the Great Basin, and that'll draw that wind from west to east. It's going to be a fast-moving storm, so by Wednesday, the low pressure area at the surface is already over Texas, and high pressure is building in over the Great Basin, so we go to northerly wind flow as soon as we get into Wednesday. Next weather system looks to be on track for late in the weekend sometime late Sunday into Monday. Similar track, not a strong storm, but similar track for cool weather and showers. We do see this linger all the way through the end of the month, all the way through the end of the month. So another system is potentially going to bring us more showers, more precipitation as we round off the end of February. So beneficial rain and snow and cooler temperatures for fire weather, but not significant for impacts to drought. Cool weather will dominate the rest of February as shown here across all of the West with a shift to warm weather in the East. Here is the summary. Much cooler weather on Tuesday, some areas 20 to 25 degrees colder. Showers uh, will be widespread on Tuesday into Tuesday night. Most locations just light rainfall, except for some of our foothill locations with brief heavy showers. The winds will be strongest in the past with gusts 40 to 60 miles per hour, as strong as 80 miles per hour uh, in the San Diego desert slope. Snowfall will cause an impact because it'll be a quick hitter. So we'll go from no snow to a brief period of heavy snow in the mountains with a few inches of accumulation, especially up around six, 7,000 feet, but even as low as 5,000 feet, some accumulation of a trace to one inch. Thanks for tuning in and stay safe. Please note the latest information on weather.gov San Diego for any alerts that are in effect.